Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement. In this particular video tutorial, we will learn how to combine multiple tables available in one Excel spreadsheet and also to perform aggregation. Start, uh, we have three ranges or three areas here, uh, month wise for the March. As you can see, uh, there are different regions, region 1, 2, 3, then product A, B and E. For April, we have different products and we have different regions as you can compare and then we have the month for may so we have three ranges and we want to combine in such a way that it produce the aggregation of sum based on region and products okay so let's get start the first initial step would be that we will select the range for the month of march that is the first month in this spreadsheet and we will convert this normal range into a table format so for that we will go to insert click on table and make sure that you check my table as headers click OK once you create a table you have to rename this table so for our understanding so instead of table 1 default name let's type it March okay and we don't need additional formatting so we will say light formatting here okay now the similar steps for the month of April and May as well so I will select the range Control T, that's the shortcut key, create a table and let's rename as April, okay. And then similarly for the next range, that is for the month of May. So let's select this range, insert table, click OK. Let's rename this as May and let's have a light format for that. Okay? All right, so the next step would be that to get this ranges inside Power Query, for that we need to go to a tab that is called data where you can see get and transform group so we will click on from table or range that will open up a new window that is power query editor okay and we have this March table right here with us okay and what we will do here is we will uh, select these three columns that is product wise and we will go to the transform tab and we will click on unpivot columns okay all right once we have done this step for the first table so we will go to home and then we will click on close and load to okay so that will open up a window here and we will not load this we will just click on only create connection in this particular step okay let's click ok so that will open uh, queries and connections uh, menu on the right side so we have a connection only for the month of March right similarly we will do the same step for the month of April and May ranges so we'll go to data from table or range that will add the table of April we will select again product wise columns right and we will go to the transform tab and pivot columns and let's click on close and load to Okay, make sure that you select the right option then only create connection click OK. okay so this is a repetitive step I hope you have understood this now so the next last month that is for the month of May again select three all the products okay and then let's go to transform unpivot columns close and load to and then only create connection now once we have a uh, created connection only for the three tab table ranges now what we need to do is we need to append those ranges and to uh, aggregate in such a way that we can fetch this resulted table okay so we need to again go to the power query so for that as you know we will click on data click on get data and here we will select append okay now that will open up a dialog window and here we will select three or more tables and we will select March, April and May, click add and then click OK. Now the Power Query Editor window has been opened, right? Here it is. Now what we will do is we will select the product column and the value column together and we will go to transform and we will say now pivot column, okay? So once we click on pivot column, it will open a window and you can see that by default it selected values column that is value 
okay if you so the aggregated value function by default is sum here okay you have other choices as well don't aggregate median max min count all okay so we will go with sum let's click ok and that's it all right so now we got our result absolutely the way we wanted okay and we have now regions product wise sum aggregation okay. append one as combine and let's go to home tab and let's click on close and load to and this time we will select existing worksheet we want the output right here let's say okay all right so now as you can see that exact result we got uh, right change any value let's say 700 what i need is i just need to refresh my data and that will change here awesome linkedin i am available on linkedin raheem zulfikar ali as you can see here uh, you can add me okay this was a challenge posted on linkedin and a lot of people has come up with uh, basically very awesome solutions as i can show you so people have made a dynamic array formulas combination right you can see the first solution here then we have another solution dynamic array okay but these kind of dynamic array solutions take a bit more time by a kind of an intermediate user and eventually if the things are simplified with the power query my suggestion would be let's go with the power query first uh, rather than consuming the time in thinking and applying for dynamic array which could be very big and complex to do until unless you have a great command over it right but every user does not have this but every user can go and learn this very awesome tool that is power query to transform the data until unless he has a command over to nest with the uh, complexity with the dynamic array functions right so thank you